Hello fellow Witchers, I am Wasteland Ghost, also known as WGhost81, and this is an update video about installing and configuring friendly hood mod. If you are installing the mod for the first time and you have no other mods installed, the process is really simple. But there is one thing I want to emphasize on. You really must read the readme file. It doesn't matter if you're installing the mod manually or if you're using Nexus Mod Manager, you absolutely must read the readme file to install the mod properly. The thing is that the Witcher 3 modding is not very user-friendly currently, so there are some parts of some mods that Nexus Mod Manager can't handle. And you still need to do some of the parts of the install process manually. So you can use Nexus Mod Manager essentially to download the mod and place it into the right folder. But still to enable in-game menu and to set up hotkeys you need to do some parts of the process manually. Currently there is one main version of the mod for the current patch 112. Here it is. And also there are some optional updates uh, if you're using non-English version of the game uh, you can download these updates with localization to some of the other languages. Main file has two localizations that's English and Russian and menu entries for every other localization will be displayed in English. After downloading the file you will get an archive, here it is, and you need to unpack it using any tool available to you. After unpacking the archive you will get this folder. And I recommend you open this folder immediately and you read the readme file. Here it is, and it has a lot of step by step instructions about installing the mod, default, key bindings and the configuration options and updating and uninstalling, things like that. After you've done reading the readme, copy the whole folder and paste it into your The Witcher 3 mods folder. This is the folder, The Witcher 3 is the folder you have installed the game into. For me this is Steam, Steam Apps, Common, The Witcher 3 and then Mods. If you've never installed any of the other mods before you might not have Mods folder. In this case you simply create it yourself. Then you paste Mod Friendly Hood folder into your Mods folder and this is the first step. The first step is done. And this is what I was talking about. You can do these steps using Nexus Mod Manager. Nexus Mod Manager will help you to download this file, to unpack it and to copy it into Mods folder. And this is it. It won't do anything more and there are other steps you absolutely need to take for the mod to work. Now if you've read the readme you know that there is a folder you need to copy into your the Witcher 3 folder and this is bin folder. Uh, the readme also instructs you to back up your existing bin folder just in case. It's not really needed but just in case I always recommend to back up files you're changing. This is very easy. You go into the Witcher 3 folder, bin folder, copy it and paste it any place safe. That's it. After doing this you can safely copy bin folder from mod friendly hood folder and paste it into your The Witcher 3 folder, replacing files when prompted. This step is absolutely necessary for in-game menu and new hotkeys to work. The last step is to initialize default settings for configuration and for key bindings by editing your user settings. There are two files in mod friendly hood folder, input settings part and user settings part. 
The first one contains new K bindings and the second one contains default mod settings. And uh, all you need to do now is to navigate under your user files. This is my documents, the which are three. And there are two similar files, input settings and user settings. And all you need to do is to copy input settings part content into input settings and user settings part content into user settings. So you open them with notepad or notepad plus plus which I recommend and you copy and paste. Here it is input settings part select all and copy and paste and user settings select all copy and paste save those files and that's it the mod is installed for you after installing the mod you can configure most of its features using in-game menu first thing you need to do is to check your key bindings under options key bindings make sure you see all the new key bindings here and that they are properly assigned Everything else is configurable under Mods, Friendly Hood menu. There are a lot of submenus regarding heads up display, 3D markers, quick items, meditation, map and minimap, and many, many other features that are in the mode and that are configurable. One thing to note about map and minimap configuration you can easily go back to vanilla settings by dropping everything to zero. So if you drop everything to zero you will have vanilla map settings. If you dislike 3D markers for example you can disable them and if you like to see minimap in your Witcher senses you can enable Witcher senses modules here. Pretty much everything is configurable, so just browse through all the sections, all the submenus, try settings, try different settings, try turning things on and off and experiment to get the experience you like. There also is another important thing to note about this mod. It doesn't hide modules, it shows them, so if you want to enable condition-based modules behavior first thing you need to do is to go under video settings heads-up display configuration and make sure you have modules you don't want to see all the times set to off this will allow friendly hood to take control over these modules and to make them conditional although almost all parts of the mod are now configurable using in-game menu some parts are still can be controlled by editing script file only. Configuration file is in its usual place. It's uh, the Witcher 3, modes, mod friendly hood, content, scripts, game. Some of the parts of the mod, like for example lists of conditional modules, are still controlled from here. So, for example, if you're using Witcher Senses modules and you don't want to see Active Quest and you want to see only Minimap, you go here and you edit this line. Delete Quests module from the list and leave only Minimap module here. Font settings for 3D Quest markers and for Compass are also still here, as well as potions, bombs and oil slits for radio menu and some other settings. If you have problems with key bindings or new menu items, first thing to check is your bin folder. You need to go under that folder. You need to find configuration files related to the mod and you have to check if you indeed have these files and if they are indeed modified. There are two files modified by the mod input XML and mod foot config XML. Check both of them. 
input XML should have mod friendly hood related entries. These entries are here and some other entries here. They are marked with mod friendly hood begin, mod friendly hood end, so you can find them easily. And this is an entirely new file that defines new menu settings for friendly hood. If you have any other mods installed, they might have conflicts. And there is a good tool to find and resolve those conflicts. It, it is called Script Merger and it can be downloaded from Nexus Mods. I already have this tool installed. And I also have many different mods merged successfully. One important thing to note about Script Merger is that each time you update the mod, you need to unmerge your existing merges and remerge everything again. These are all basic things you need to know about installing and configuring friendly hood mod. In case of any problems, I advise you to read the description page on Nexus Mods. There's a long troubleshooting section with answers to many questions. And as always, good luck fellow witches and have fun!